Hi, I'm Maria Fontanaza, editor of Food Safety Tech, and I'm here with Laura Nelson, vice president of business development at Alchemy. And we've spoken quite a bit about employee training, um, giving them the empowerment to make their own decisions, especially when they're on the plant floor or in the business environment. So tell me, where should companies focus when they are training and educating employees to reach that level of empowerment and making critical decisions? It's a great question, Maria. Um, you know, the one of the things that I think that we need to focus on as an industry, and we have a lot of um, very proactive innovators in doing this already, but I think we have to own the fact that um, employees um, are the key, right? They, they are exposed to the product, and, they, and they're really the ones that are touching our food every day. And yet, we, we don't do a really good job at at training and measuring that effectiveness in the, in their um, execution of the behaviors that we train them on, on the plant floor. And I think, so we, we do a good job at training um, and in doing the classroom training and testing those folks, we get the 100%. And, and it really kind of stops there because we're, we're checking the compliance box. But moving forward, I think people are really starting to, fit, to see the value of, of taking that um, to the next step. And really that's moving from, do they know what to do? Are they actually doing it? And that's really verifying behaviors. And it really talks about, um, a lot of people struggle with the food safety culture. And, and really this starts to get at that question, are they validating the behaviors that you did train them on in the classroom? And so then you're able to um, coach them and mentor them for those 20 percenters that are not doing those behaviors consistently. And once you focus on those, you start to re reduce your risk in the plant and you really start to uh, drive higher compliance. Um, more than that, once everybody really understands the, the, what they need to do, that interaction and that coaching really starts to, to, to tease out the why. And I think a lot of our training sometimes lacks a really true why. And if employees don't really understand the why behind their, what they need to do, then they may just take a, a, a path of least resistance. And if there's a delay on the, on the plant floor and, you know, things always happen, then they might go that, that least resistant route. Well, I'm not going to do that temperature for this 30 minutes, or I'm not going to, um, you know, check the ingredient label on this because, you know, we're, we're, we've been down and we've got to get, get moving forward. They're not going to take those shortcuts if they really and truly own the fact um, of, of the whys behind what they're doing.